Hey guys, Lewis here, and in today's video, I want to do a review of Meta's professional certificate programs on Coursera, especially specifically when it comes to software developer uh, programs. So Meta actually has a lot of programs on Coursera, but in this video, I'm going to review the software development uh, programs. So you have a lot of them. You have here the front end developer professional certificate, back end developer, database engineer. Uh, Android developer, uh, React Native specialization, iOS developer, and you have the uh, Augmented Reality Developer Professional Certificate. So I'm not going to talk about the specifics of those programs, but rather I'm going to take a broad view of those programs, of those professional certificates, and I'm going to answer uh, the following questions. So first of all, how long does it take? How much time do you have to invest to actually get those professional certificates? Then I'm going to answer the question of, is it worth it? Do these uh, professional certificates actually live up to the hype? People have been talking about them a lot online, but is it actually worth it to invest your time and money into this? Then I'm going to talk about your chances of actually getting a job after completing those professional certificates. And I'm going to talk as well about the cost. So first of all, I want to start with the cost actually very, very quickly. There's not a lot to talk about here, but uh, as you can see for those programs, they're included in the Coursera Plus plan. Now with Coursera Plus, essentially what you're getting is it's a $59 uh, per month subscription, which gets you access to all of those professional certificates and other courses on Coursera. Uh, and that's basically it. Now, as far as the the overall cost, like for the entire program, now now each program program actually has a different duration. Here it's eight months. Here it's six months. Here it's eight months, uh, eight months, and so on. But uh, overall, you know, Coursera tends to I don't know if it's Coursera or the Meta staff that sort of estimates the the duration of those courses generally speaking they overestimate the duration of those courses and most people report actually finishing those programs in about four to five months but again it depends on your own pace so i would say on average five months and so if you do five months times the 59 dollar uh, subscription per month that is you know coursera plus your it comes down to 295 dollars for the entire uh, you know professional certificate I'm going to make sure to include a link in the description box of this video with you know the best price possible that I can find for Coursera plus with any kind of discounts or stuff like that so make sure to click the link in the description I'm gonna make sure to maintain it with whatever I find all right so enough about the cost now I want to talk about how long it actually takes and I've already talked about this but uh, those programs are designed to actually get you a job in uh, as little time as possible. And you know, those programs say, a lot of them say eight months. So the shortest one is the AR uh, program, which is, uh, um, it's not here. I don't remember where it is, but it said three months. But as I said, it's, it, it's really variable. Those are really, really rough estimates. Most people report finishing those programs in about four to five months. So that's what you should expect. You can do it faster if you do it full time. You can do it, uh, you know, in a year if you wanted to. If you just have a few hours to dedicate to it each, uh, each week. Uh, now, I'm going to answer the question of does it live up to the hype? Is it actually worth it? Now, the reason why Meta, and I'm on the Meta website here, Facebook website, um, the reason why they created those programs is because in the first place meta does not have enough developers for them to hire and college is not preparing students well enough for those jobs you know like to become android developers to become react native developers to become ios developers and so on so they created their own uh professional certificate programs and you know my own college experience you know i have a master's degree uh in in computer science is that yeah you know i got a master's degree but when i went into my first job i was not 100 percent prepared for what was to come i I'm really grateful that I actually did a professional certificate program. I'm not talk talking about Coursera. I actually did uh, Udacity, which is a totally different thing. Uh, that sort of prepared me for the job, but it was not specific enough. Like, 
if you're if you want to become an Android developer, do not get a bachelor's degree or a master's degree in computer science. Just do the the Android developer uh, professional certificate. The knowledge that you're going to get in that certificate is going to be much more specific. You're going to be prepared exactly for what's to come in your job. And an example of this is uh, there's a developer in my company who did a six month uh, certificate program. I think it was Code Academy and he had no education uh, whatsoever in computer science and he got hired. Uh, you know, same position as me because he had that certificate. He showed the projects that he actually did and he showed that he was able to do the job, right? So um, there you go. The, these are the benefits of those, you know, cer uh, certificate programs, not necessarily specifically Coursera, but in general, these are very, very valuable. The other advantage here is that compared with, you know, college or in person boot camps, um, these are 100% online and self paced. So you can go at your own pace. You can put those certificates on uh, LinkedIn once you're done with them. And uh, these are actually uh, certificates that you can share. And some recruiters actually look for people uh, with those certificates by typing the name of those certificates on LinkedIn. So it can help you get hired. Now, compared to in-person boot camps, such as uh, this one, for example, this is App Academy, a well-known uh, in-person uh, you know, coding boot camp. Uh, those in-person coding boot camps are going to be a lot longer. So typically six to eighteen months, and it's going to be at least you know part time. So like part time or full time. Those in-person boot camps, and I'm not targeting you know App Academy uh, specifically. This is just an example. Those programs are going to be a lot more expensive, at least ten k, if not more. In this specific case, it's going to be about 20K to, I think, 30K or something like that. So it's a lot more expensive. A lot of those programs also have, you know, the in-person boot camps. They have what you call income share agreements uh, where actually you don't pay anything during the program. But once you get a developer job, you have to give up some portion of your salary. And it's a pretty big portion, like 15%. So in any case, it's going to come down to at least, you know, uh, 20k, I would say 10k is really the the strict minimum for in-person boot camps. 10k to 30k in total for an in-person boot camp. Whereas with you know Coursera professional certificates, yeah, you know it's not exactly that I, like uh, an in-person coding boot camp, but you're paying 295 dollars for the entire program, so it's a totally different thing. And you're learning exactly what you need for the specific job that you're you know preparing for. And the other thing I want to add here um, in, you know, answering the question of is it worth it is that those programs are actually designed by meta staff, meta software developers. And so you're going to uh, have knowledge that they think is relevant and they actually do the hiring. So this is something to keep in mind if you ever want to not necessarily work for meta, but work for any company. This knowledge here is stuff that is useful and that you're going to be tested on during the interview process. Uh, the courses are taught by uh, Meta staff as well, and uh, so it's all you know, uh, re you know, really relevant knowledge. Overall, you know, people when they take those programs, they're pretty satisfied. You can see here, a thousand four hundred twelve reviews, four point six stars. I mean, all of those programs have lots of reviews and very good reviews. And those reviews are not, uh, you know, biased. I know a lot of websites where you know they have the, their own, you know, courses or programs, and it's always like four point five stars and so on. This is an independent platform, right? This platform, Coursera, is independent of meta so if those courses if those programs are bad you would see it you would see the bad reviews all right now let me talk about uh, your chances of getting a job and what type of salary you should be expecting uh, upon you know completion of those programs so according to and i've opened the page here let me find it there you go according to the u.s bureau uh, bureau of labor statistics uh, you know, software development here, software developers is one of the fastest growing uh, occupation in the United States. And for most uh, countries, it is going to be the, the, the case. 
uh, there is a very very high median pay here you can see that you know some uh, some jobs are actually growing you know faster like statistic uh, statisticians and wind turbine service technicians apparently but the median the median pay is not nearly as high as software developers so it's really a good deal here now as far as salary uh, we already have some statistics here but according to indeed which has a lot of data about you know job postings and so on if you're a front-end developer uh, so there is actually a front-end development uh, program on on Coursera you can expect uh, so this is the average base salary, $112,000. And then you know, there's a, the cash bonus, don't forget about your 401k, and you know all of these uh, kinds of things. You have a lot of uh, um, perks in those you know, tech companies a lot of times. Now it's going to be different from country to country. I know that a lot of you guys are actually watching from you know Europe or other parts of the world, but generally speaking, you know software developers actually get paid pretty decently, you know, in most countries. And my experience is that, you know, in all of the companies I've worked for, they all had issues uh, recruiting developers uh, because I don't know <laughs> there are not a lot of developers. Those. Uh, tech companies, you know, the whole technology field is moving so rapidly. Um, they can't keep up with the. Uh, there are not enough people to work on these things. So my experience is that even if you don't have a lot of experience, even if you know you don't have a college degree, you just have a professional certificate like this. Uh, companies are going to be willing to give you a shot. That's my experience. So. The in addition, as far as like your chances of getting a job, the most professional certificates, those online programs, they actually sort of don't they leave out the part about, you know, getting yourself a job. It's all about the certificates and getting the skills. But with the Coursera, you know, the meta programs on Coursera, uh, you will actually do a lot of projects, first of all, and those projects will actually help you get the job because, you know, the uh, some companies, to be honest, will not actually value your professional certificates, right? They're going to think, ah, oh, well, you know, this is some online certificate, not really valuable. To me, the really valuable thing, the thing that you can actually show your prospective employers is the, you know, uh, eight or nine, you know, projects that you're going to build during that, the, the professional certificate uh, from Meta. So, all of those programs during all of those programs you're going to be building a portfolio of projects that you will show to your uh, future employer and tell them hey look I made those I know how to do this and generally speaking employers see those and they are going to think that this is you know it's I think it's a lot more valuable to companies it gives them a much better idea of what kind of level you have as far as, uh, as uh, you know as a software developer uh, compared with just a professional certificate. All right, so uh, the other thing to keep in mind as well is that uh, those programs will uh, get you access to a job board, the Meta uh, job board. So actually Meta does hire from this job board. So it, it is a possibility you could get hired by Meta. Uh, it's not like the easiest thing, obviously, because it's, uh, it's a big company, it's pretty competitive, but there are more than 200 companies that are on that job board that have committed to hiring, um, you know, d graduates from those uh, professional certificates, uh, and um, so it's a pretty good thing. And keep in mind as well that those professional certificates are going to help you with the coding interview, right? So there's um, at the end there's a course here in all of those programs. I think all of those programs there's a coding interview preparation course. Because you know coding interviews have their own you know specificities and you know the programs uh, are going to prepare to prepare you for for uh, for that. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now my my conclusion for my verdict for those professional certificate programs from Meta on Coursera is that they're a pretty cheap way to get you uh, in the tech industry, get you a developer job. It is a big time investment, right? It's going to be multiple months, multiple hours per week. But the value is there. It's pretty cheap, $295 on average for the entire professional certificate, as opposed to you know 
tens of thousands of dollars for college, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, or you know, ten thousand to thirty thousand dollars for in-person boot camps. Uh, again, I'm going to maintain uh, a link in the description box of this video uh, with you know the best price possible that I can find for Coursera Plus, which is going to give you access to all of those professional certificates. So click the link in the description, and I'll see you next time.